Hello everyone, so today I am filming a packing video and you don't know I am or by the time you see this I will be in where will I be I will be in Bayreuth in southern Germany with one of my friends but at the time of filming this this is the day before I go on holiday not the best time to go on holiday but I'm going anyway be, um and I'm yeah um so I thought I'd show you what I would what I will pack. If you saw, if you have seen the vlog that I posted on Monday, you will know that I am going to Berlin, or will have been to Berlin by the time you see this, um, to visit my previous host family, and that I'm then going to pick up my friend and her cousin and her brother, and we are going to Disneyland Paris together for two days because my host family got me tickets for Disneyland Paris for my birthday because my host mum works for Disney so I thought I would do a video of what I am packing especially during this uncertain time yeah if you see me looking down I have notes so that I don't forget anything hopefully and so that this video can maybe be a little bit organized for those of you that don't know though i am an au pair and i'm currently in london last year i was an au pair in berlin and i make video i make vlogs mostly about my time as an au pair and what my daily life is like so i thought i'd start this video um out with what i am packing in my park bag so just what I'm packing in the bag that I am taking with me into the park. So I'm taking this bag. It's a nice bag. One of my best friends got this for me for Christmas. Christmas just been. Um, it's really nice. It's got a little pocket and a big pocket. And it just clips up. I love this bag. I use it basically every day. Um, it's from... From a shop i think it, she got it from typo which is a shop that we have in new zealand and i think australia i don't know if it is a worldwide brand or if it's just a new zealand and australia bag but i'm pretty sure that's where she got it from um so that's just the bag that i'm going to be using so inside the bag i am going to pack these things so I of course have my Minnie Mouse ears. I got these last year when I went to Disneyland um, Paris for my birthday. I saved up and went on a trip to Disneyland Paris by myself last year. So I'm of course going to take these except I'll probably be wearing them but they'll go in my bag for roller coasters. Another thing that you have to bring is a water bottle. Um, so you have to bring a water bottle especially if you go in summer because it gets so hot. Last year when I was in Disneyland Paris, it got up to 42 degrees. I went right in the middle of that giant heat wave that Europe had and it was so hot. And I think I ended up spending so much money on bottled water. It, it was crazy. I think it was almost like five euros for a bottle. So bring your own water. <laughs> Um, another thing that you definitely have to bring if it's summertime is sunscreen. Um, as you can tell, I have very red hair and very pale skin and I burn so easily. Not so much on the side of the world. In New Zealand we have a giant hole in our ozone layer, so I burn really easily in New Zealand, but can't forget sunscreen. I won't be taking this bottle because I am flying to Berlin and I only have my wheelie suitcase um so i don't have checked luggage so i actually have to buy sunscreen while i'm in europe because i'm catching a train back from paris i'm catching the eurostar so i just need to buy sunscreen but take sunscreen um another thing that's really important especially in these times is hand sanitizer so i just have it's called go to a bit of you um, it's a hand sanitizer. It's the only thing that they had at the Tesco near my house. So I have this 
um, that I'll be taking with me to use, although I'm pretty sure Disney Parks have hand sanitizer everywhere now, but I just like to have my own just in case I need to sanitize my hands when there is none around. Another thing that's important is face masks. So I just bought these from Tesco. I also have um, reusable face masks. I can't show them to you now. If you watch my vlogs, you will have seen me wearing them on the train and in London. But I have, um, I bought these. I have another pack as well to wear in the Disney parks because I don't want one of my reusable masks to fall off in the middle of a ride because then it's gone. I'd rather lose one of these in the middle of a ride than one of my reusable ones. But I am bringing my reusable ones for travel because I'm spending a lot of time on buses and trains because I don't really want to fly. I'm only flying once on this trip. I also have these bags. I don't know if you can read them. It says face mask dirty, face mask clean. So if I do bring a couple of reusable ones, I know which ones are dirty and which ones are clean so that I don't get them mixed up because obviously I can reuse my reusable face mask, but I don't want to have my dirty ones sitting around in my bag and I don't want to mix them up. I'll also put, if I have to change one of my disposable ones and there's no bin around, I will also just put it in here. So those are pretty handy and probably pretty smart to have during these coronavirus times. I am taking a portable charger, very important in the parks, especially if you're using Disneyland Paris as an app that's really useful, and, but if you're using it a lot it drains your battery power or if you're entertaining yourself in line it also drains your battery power, so I'm bringing this. Um, it, I just got this from Primark, it was £16. Um, you can charge two phones at once, I don't know if you can see that there. It can charge my phone two and a half times, so it's a pretty good charger, it's really heavy, but works well. I'm also taking headphones in, even though I'm going with other people this time. Last time I went by myself, so I used headphones a lot when I was in line um, to listen to podcasts and stuff and keep me entertained. But probably won't need to do that this time because I'm going with three other people. But just in case I want to listen to something or watch something, I have my off-brand AirPods. They're not AirPods because I have a Samsung phone, but they're just my off-brand cheaper version AirPods. And in case they run out of battery because I, I always forget to charge them properly or I forget to charge the case to charge the earphones. I also have my Y headphones that came with my phone just in case. Um, and I will also, of course, have the charging cable for my phone. And I'll just put them all in this little bag so that they are together and not tangled in the bottom of my bag. Another thing that I like to bring is I have these. They are sh metal straws. Oh, if I can get the bag open. Okay, so I also have these. They're metal straws. I got given them. I did a... I volunteered at a kindergarten before I became an au pair in Berlin and as my goodbye end of year gift they gave me a goodie basket and it had these straws in it. Um, I take them with me in the park and then if I want to use a straw or if I get a smoothie or a milkshake I can just use these and it comes with a little cleaner as well which is really handy. I just need to remember to use them but I like to bring them. It's not a must, but I like to. Also, obviously you need to bring your wallet. My wallet is broken. It doesn't close properly, but it's broken, but it's fine. I just got it from Primark last year. It was like two euros. So it's not the best quality, but it works. Obviously don't forget to change your, the currency. So Disneyland Paris has euros. I need to remember to tonight to take all my pounds out of my wallet and put my euros into my wallet because Disneyland Paris only accepts euros. So need to remember to do that, but your wallet is a must. Plasters. 
Um, these the box is a bit smushed because I've had I brought these last year. But plasters are so important. Last year I got blisters on my feet, and I was so happy that I had plasters. You can probably buy plasters in Disney, but they're probably a bit more expensive than if you just go to your local local Tesco or whatever to buy some. So plasters are a must, and I bring body spray as well. I got this. I actually got this a few years ago on a school trip from Victoria's Secret. It was, it must have been three or nearly four years ago now, but yeah, I just got this. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but I always use this when I'm traveling because it's travel sized and yeah, no one wants to smell bad in Disney, especially if it's hot. And I bring tissues all the time just in case my hands get sticky or I, something like that. I used to be an au pair for two under five year olds so I'm used to coming well prepared with hand sanitizer and tissues and plasters in case anything happened so always bring tissues and another thing I like to bring is snacks um I'm bringing these and I'll probably buy some more snacks in Germany but Snacks are really important because Disneyland food is really expensive and especially if you're on an au pair budget, you don't want to spend all your money on food. So I definitely recommend bringing some of your own snacks. Yeah. Another thing that I also usually bring is my Kindle, but I won't be bringing that into the parks with me this time because I'm not going to be by myself. So I won't read, but last year when i went i brought my kindle and while i was waiting in line i just sat and read and that way i didn't make my phone battery die and it was just really useful to have my kindle with me okay so now i thought i'd move on to what i'm bringing with me that i won't bring into the parks but just things that i'm packing as you can see behind me I have my wheelie suitcase, oh don't mind my white legs, um, I have my wheelie suitcase, I just got it from Primark, I honestly don't remember how much it costs, I have no idea, I bought it last year because um, I had way too much stuff to bring home and I couldn't fit it all so I brought a wheelie mini suitcase to use as a carry-on bag instead of a backpack. So I just thought I would go over some more things that I am taking. So in here I have, obviously, obviously if you're traveling to another country, you need your passport, bring your passport. I just have a cover for it from Typo, just so that it doesn't get bent or anything like that. So that's very important. Um, on this trip as well, I'm also bringing my laptop. So I'm taking my my laptop cover bag thing. Um, I got this from a, sh a shop called Typo. Again, I'm not sure if that's a worldwide brand or not, but I like this case and I'm bringing, I'm bringing my laptop with me so that I can do editing and stuff like that while I'm on the train or the plane because I had, or the bus, because I have a four hour bus ride from Berlin to Bayreuth where my friend lives and then we have a seven-ish hour train ride and then I have a two hour train ride from Paris to London when I go home so I thought I'd bring my laptop so I can do some editing while on the train. Another thing that's important to not forget if you're not from Europe you've got to bring adapter plugs. I almost forgot to pack these I've already packed but, oh well now I'm unpacking because I'm showing you everything, but I almost forgot these. So important, I also have to have my New Zealand plug so that I can use it because at the moment I'm using a British plug, but that's not going to work in Europe. So don't forget these, otherwise you won't have any electronics and that might be a bit difficult. Um, I'm also of course bringing my house keys so that I can get back inside when I get back home. I'm always worried that I'm going to forget house keys, but fingers crossed I don't forget to pack them. Um, obviously bring any toiletries and medications. Um, this is my little traveling toiletry bag. One of, again, one of my friends got this for me for my birthday. 
pretty sure it's from typo not 100 percent sure pretty sure it's probably from typo again as you can tell i like typo um and because i'm flying because i'm flying i have all my liquids in a plastic bag this is actually a lot smaller than what i'm allowed i'm going to the shop today to see if i can find any ziploc bags that are the right dimensions because i have more liquids that i need to put in here and they won't fit so hopefully i can find a bag with bigger dimensions but because I'm flying to Berlin, I have to put all my liquids in there, so that's important. Another thing that I'm bringing are uh, these two things. This is my weekly planner, which I use to write down everything. So I have my flights and what I need to do before I leave and everything written down in here so I don't forget. I also have what time all my trains leave and stuff like that so I bring that otherwise I'll forget everything and this it has my Opero Paris sticker on it um check these guys out if you haven't they're really they're another really good Opero channel um but this is my YouTube planning book and I sort of just write down kind of what I want to film every day and um, what I want the title of my videos to be and what I want the thumbnail to be and all of that stuff I write it down in here so I'm bringing this because I'm going to be editing and posting videos while I'm away so this is important another thing that I'm bringing is my sleep mask I don't I struggle to sleep if it's super bright well I struggle to fall asleep if it's super bright um if it's bright and i'm already asleep i'm fine but if i'm trying to fall asleep and it's bright i kind of can't fall asleep so i've started wearing this face mask because my windows are right above my bed in this house and it's kind of hard to fall asleep so i thought i'd bring this just in case the hotel is like that um i got given this from my au pair agency um so i don't know where it's from but it's really cute. It looks like a unicorn. Um, so yeah, I'm bringing that with me. Another thing that I'm bringing are just some tote bags. This is a Harry Potter one. It's from Cotton On, which is another shop in New Zealand, similar to Typo, except it does more clothes. And this one is a um, a eco friendly save the planet one that I got from Primark last year. I'm bringing these for just any dirty clothes. I will be doing laundry at my friend's house because she's nice and is letting me use her washing machine. But I just like to have bags to take with me to put dirty clothes in so that they aren't mixed in with my clean clothes. Um, another thing that I'm taking is these i like to put socks and underwear and stuff in here so that it's all kind of in one space I, these are so useful um i think i don't know where these are from i stole these from my gran because she brought them when she went, went on a trip a couple of years ago to scotland and now she doesn't need them so i have them also i'm bringing my kindle i usually like I said, I usually bring the, my Kindle into the parks with me, but I won't be doing that this time. But I will be taking this because I like to read and I have lots of traveling. So this will help keep me entertained, hopefully. Now for possibly the most exciting part is clothes. So I'm obviously bringing clothes for my travel days and I'm obviously bringing more clothes than what I'm showing you. I don't want to show you all the clothes that I'm taking not that exciting just t-shirts and shorts but i will show you the clothes i have for disney so the first thing i have is my pajama top which i got i got a couple years ago in dubai on a school trip we went on a big school trip to europe i'm sure i've mentioned it before but it's this it's a scary skeleton mickey t-shirt it's a pajama shirt it glows in the dark it's really cool i love it so I'm going to wear that while I'm at Disney. Not that anyone will see it because I'm not going outside in my pyjamas. But I just like to wear it at Disney. I also have this really cool t-shirt. Um, so the Mickey Mouse is all sequins. And this is sort of a see-through breathable material. I really love this. 
um, oh, and you can see it's got Mickey Mouse on the sleeves. I got this last year when I was at Disneyland Paris um, from one of the really nice shops. I can't remember the name of it, of the shop, but it's in Disney Village. It is so, I love this top so much. I don't wear it very often, but I'm definitely going to wear it in the parks. I really love this top, so that's what I'm going to wear. And I'll probably just wear it with shorts because it's going to be really hot. And possibly my favourite thing that I'm going to wear is this. Hold on, I'm going to have to stand up. Is this dress. You can't really see it. Maybe if I sit back up. Is this dress now. It is meant to look like a Minnie Mouse dress, but not be a Minnie Mouse dress because adults aren't meant to dress up when they go to the parks, but I thought I would wear a Minnie Mouse dress. If you watch the vlog, again, if you watch the vlog that I posted on Monday, um, I show you this dress in that vlog because I was very excited when it came because it fits and it's beautiful and I really like it. So yeah, I'm taking that. I'm also taking a hoodie just in case I get cold and a pair of leggings just in case I get cold. But yeah, that's about all that I'm packing, I think. I don't think there's anything else. I'm taking a couple of extra little things like presents for my previous host family and stuff. Um, but that's not important. Oh, another really important thing is wear comfortable shoes. Last year I made the mistake of wearing the worst shoes ever. I think they were like cheap Primark shoes that I got for five euros or something. I wore those, my feet were dead. Make sure you wear comfy shoes. This year I'm wearing my running shoes, which also aren't the best, but they're the best ones that I have. Um, wear nice shoes even if they don't go with your outfit. Not gonna go with my dress, but I don't care. I need comfy shoes because my feet were dead last year. They, they did not like me last year. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to see my new vlogs and au pair videos. Um, I hope that this was helpful to anyone that's planning on traveling to Disney anytime soon or that it was entertaining. Comment down below if I forgot anything or if there's anything extra that you would take or if there's anything that you wouldn't take. Love to know below. But yeah, look out for my next video. My next video is going to be a vlog of me and my friend preparing for Disney. That'll be my next vlog and the vlog after that will be of the days that we spent in Disney. So make sure you look out for that and yeah I'll see you guys on Monday with, the, with my next vlog.